One, two, one, two. This is Orifice Vogatron. DJ No Name. Metropolis. We are Foreign Beggars, and you are watching Music Channel One Like You. The uprising is something that we had to put out. There was many circumstances that resulted in us having to do an album off the cuff. And literally, we, we decided we were going to make that album in January. It wasn't, when even, it wasn't even supposed to be an album, it was supposed to be an EP. And then like we showed the label the tracks and they really liked it and they wanted us to get some more stuff done. So we just started reaching out to like a whole bunch of producers that we wanted to work with and just, you know, seeing who it was about and, you know, we managed to make it happen. <laughs> The next album that we're doing, we've it's pretty much been the, the opposite because it's been something like five years in the making. We're not trying to put anything together and like we've spent time with these producers in the studio and it's just really it's honest and it's something that it's yeah, it's it doesn't fit into any category. It's not it's not dubstep, it's not hip hop, it's not drum and bass, it's just music that we love and that we feel. We're working with like a, this company called Bootstraps and they have a charity where they run like a few buildings and look after loads of independent businesses and uh, they've invited us to give a speech because they work with lots of kids from the community, loads of different organizations that work with kids and they've invited them in to come and just uh, kids who really want to learn about music and music industry so they put us on a panel and we're going to teach them some classes about how to just make music and how we do everything. A couple days working with people. We're going to put on a live show for all the young people and just teach them about the industry. When we were growing up, for example, like I never really had anybody inspirational like that. Growing up in Dubai, there wasn't anybody else who was doing it. But then I met a few people who were doing things and what I learned from them for example, like when I started rapping, there was a kid from New York, like from San Diego, who was living in Dubai, and his experience meant so much to me. And then when I was at, I left university to study at this school called SAE, and I was there for a few months. And there was this one teacher who came in and gave a speech on like how to set up an independent record label, how to press records, how to master, and everything. And like that one lesson was more inspirational to me, and has like pretty much been the blueprint for how I started my career.